Uh, Andrew, point at the camera and say, roll it. Roll it! Yes. That's probably very loud. Roll it! Roll it! Roll it! <laughs> roll it! Roll it! We're lit! Roll it! Roll, roll. roll. <laughs> I was gonna say, roll, 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 roll it! Um, roll it! Do you remember what happened in Kingdom Hearts 1? I, mean, I kind of remember when we left off. I think it's incredibly important that we recrap. Re <laughs> recrap. We recrap. Yeah, this is some a important keynote. This is a load of, of shit. Kingdom Hearts 1 drunk history. All right, fam. Sora, Riku, and Kairi are from Destiny Islands. Sora is the Keyblade Master. Their whole world of Destiny Islands is consumed by the Heartless. Completely sucked off. The Heartless are monsters born of the darkness in people's hearts. The planets are stars. Yes! You got yeah. it. Yeah, there goes Jupiter. That's a quote from the first one. Oh shit, the There goes Jupiter. We're too early to be doing quotes from the first one. So the Heartless mm -hmm. are going around to worlds and they're consuming the worlds by tainting the heart of the worlds, basically through the, the keyhole of the, the world. world's taints. They, they want the world's taints <laughs> under the influence of... Lancid. Right? So close. Ansem, Seeker of Darkness. You know what I was meant to say. Ansem, Seeker of Darkness, as we know him, is a, an evil scientist from Holobastion who okay. studied hearts and the hearts of worlds and the Heartless. He was the ship. He's, this is incredible. He was the ship. He was a ship at one point. On his chest, Ansem has a Heartless emblem. You see his naked chest in the first game? Yes. Oh, Ansem gets so naked. He gets naked. Ansem this is game is rated M. He's hanging brain. No. He's hanging. Dude. He's hanging no, brain. I don't think so. I think it's rated E, but it's <laughs> sort of I got, like, I got to play like, this game. <laughs> he honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Ansem's kind of hot. That emblem shows up on other Heartless. That What that emblem means, which we learn in the Ansem reports. What? What are those? Oh, God. You didn't talk about. We didn't talk about the, the Ansem, Ansem reports. reports. Is that what that goddamn book is? It was. It's been sitting there the whole time. Fuck you, 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 you went talking, into that. You, you knew what you were are doing. You talking about, are you talking about the bonus content that you can collect throughout the game, the Ansem reports? Did you mention that in the first one? I don't we think did you mention it in the first one, but we're going to go over a lot of things that we need to mention. Oh. So, <laughs> the Ansem reports are found when you defeat a boss, and they are reports from Ansem himself that talk about a lot of details that are going on in the background that you might not be aware of as the player. Anyway. One just says ice cream alone. Huh. If, if a heartless has a heartless emblem on it, huh. it means that it was created by Ansem Seeker of Darkness. Emblem heartless. It's called an emblem heartless. If it doesn't have the emblem, it's a pure blood heartless Your that heart. is naturally occurring. It comes from the darkness of people's hearts. Important. I thought he. Later down I thought he was creating the heartless. Well, he. Well, some of them. If it has an emblem, it means he created it. Okay. That's all you need to know. Ansem was going around, basically attacking the worlds, trying to find their keyholes and making them disappear. Find the world's taints and. Oh yeah. Uh, and I remember that. Expose boy. them. <laughs> yeah. Expose them to darkness. <laughs> Open your taints to darkness. That's the uh, line from the first game. Yeah, Billy Zane says that. Billy that's why. Zane. That's why he quit. Billy Zane. Billy. Billy Zane. <laughs> yeah. Ari, at the end of Kingdom Hearts, we yeah. asked you to remember something important. Kyrie, uh, like, like something went through her. Right, right, right. But that was important for one. That was in the beginning of the game. That was the beginning of the game. She we asked you to remember. Stabbed. That. She, like a key. She, Kyrie she, didn't get stabbed. She stabbed Sora. No. Sora stabbed himself to unlock Kyrie's heart. Yes. yes, that rested within him. This is incredibly important going forward, and when we still it, want you, you to remember it. it. You gotta remember it. During the oh, events no. of Kingdom Hearts 1, Riku is possessed by Ansem, Seeker of Darkness. Look, look, my buddy. Do we, are we recapping the whole game? Why are you recapping the whole we, game? Yeah, they, recap. But no, it's like they, they have the video. They can watch it. All right. This is for you. I don't want this. Uh, at the end, he is closed on the other side of the door to darkness. With, with Mickey. You got it. With Mickey. He says, he says, how about we, we close this fucking door? Yes, he says yes! that. He says that, yeah. That's why I was rated M. What happens is they close the door to darkness. Riku and Mickey are on the other side. Kyrie appears because the worlds, now that they've defeated the big bad, are reforming. And she looks like she's being reformed to Destiny Islands, which is, you know, her home world. Well. Well, Maybe. we know she's actually from Hollow Bastion. Let's, 
He didn't say anything about that. All right, in the, actually, you guys Ansem are, Report 11 says that- What said, Ansem Report? We didn't talk about the Ansem Report. I just found out I about I understand, those. but I put it in the footnotes of the video. I'm not gonna if read pop, the, are you insane? Did you even watch the video? You didn't watch the video, dude. It's okay. Is it up? No. no. <laughs> what do you mean is it up? <laughs> Ansem Report 11 or 13 says that he sent Kyrie out into the world so that she could resonate with the Keyblade wielder. She is originally from Hollow Bastion. This is huge. She yeah, like, Ari, huge. you might say it's huge. Did you find out about this in the first game? Yes, through the Ansem Reports. And you, you put that in a, in a footnote? You thought that was small enough to put in a footnote but not make There's a voiceover? There's a lot of things that we Ansem couldn't really cover, reports. buddy. Kyrie's going back to Destiny Islands. Sora finds her and he's like, hey, I'll come back to you, I promise. I gotta go find Riku and the king. And later they find a letter from Pluto and so they start following Pluto. Reminder for Ari and the fam at home, hearts are like this metaphysical thing. They don't really mean the organ when they're talking about them. They mean like your the essence of your being, not your soul and not your will. Those are things that Tetsuya Nomura decides are gonna be something else later. They're separate. Get we need to talk about things we missed. What? People are gonna be mad. No, Andrew, you have to stop this. No, it, you, you have to he's stop not this. Gonna stop it because he knows that it's important. No, this is super important. But we you? have to start the episode. We are gonna start it. No, we we, we already made the first. Don't look at my camera, uh, dude. Okay, first up, Ari. Oh. At the end of Kingdom Hearts 1, there's actually a secret ending. This secret ending, it's like a concept cinematic, and it's also using the engine that Square Enix was using at the time to develop theatrical movie releases. All you need to know is that this Sora looking guy in a black hood that can wield two Keyblades fights what looks like a blindfolded Riku in a rainy city and they're surrounded by Heartless. And there's all this text that comes up and none of it really fucking matters because we're not- None of it matters? Basically later, he's gonna retcon meaning into this epic cinematic. So okay. yeah, okay. do with that what you will. What am Forget I gonna, it. What am I gonna do with that? <laughs> there's also, at the end of Kingdom Hearts in Hollow Bastion, there's a secret boss that shows up and he's in a black hood and his name is the Enigmatic Man. And he walks through Sora and he takes some of his memories. He's like, and he's like his virginity. In a way. Um, the Enigmatic Man fights Sora, kind of tests his strength. He's really sick, he's really cool. And he tells Sora, quote, you remind me of him. And you still won't understand that. And you won't understand it until Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> but we're gonna say it now because you guys asked for it. You asked for it right here. The other thing that he says that I think is important, he says, quote, basically, basically that you're not complete. There's a part of him that is still missing. When does this happen? After Sora stabs himself. They added it later. They they retconned it in. You can't just do that. Though, I know. Man. It's a Nomura trait. He's going to retcon it whenever he wants that to. sounds like a bad trait. It's, it's, it's a, a good trait. No. Can we start the game? What do you see? What do you see, Ari? Um, I see Sora. We got Mar Marlawana. We got Mar Marlawana. <laughs> Dude, 420 Marlawana. We got <laughs> Axel, yeah. Vixen. Oh my God. And Larksen. Killing Ooh. me. Killing me. This is hurting. Yo, I hope you're hurting at home. Vixen? <laughs> no. Take your shirt off. Look at my palms. Take your shirt off. Look at my palms. Take your shirt oh, off. I'm sensitive about my three nipples, dude. I'm not gonna do it. It is huge in the in the middle of your chest. My 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 sniper nipple, dude. What? So here's how <laughs> your snipper. <laughs> he's reaching onto her, and they're holding hands. And he's like, "I'll come back to you." It's okay. I'm sure you'll be relevant in Kingdom Hearts two. J K. Maybe three. J K. No, Kingdom well, Hearts Remind. Question mark. Melody of wrong. memories. Melody of memories. But you're asleep the whole time. That's what he says. What's the most you're willing to pay for Excalibur? Excalibur? Mm -hmm. I, in theory, I was gonna say like everything, but then, but then I don't think the whole like true King of England applies today to today's. Yeah, He'd be like, no. uh, uh, and they'll be like, that, that's too bad. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry. It'd be like, oh bloody hell! Oh, oh bloody hell! <laughs> Bollocks! This is great. It'd be like um, this is great for it's our like English viewers. Like, it, Elixir. 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 He Elix who? Dude, we're being serious right Sorry. now. <laughs> Come on, that's my bad. 
It is often. <laughs> to do the intro. We, have to. we can't even want. get through the intro. We have to. We have to do it. All right, relax. Cuz I'm not going to nail this on the first try. I need like oh four god. times. Such a Dude, diva. Oh my god. god. Can he get five? Just, just let it go. Just it. let it go. <gasps> Can he get six? Try it. <gasps> <gasps> we almost got six. It kind of hung on there he for a second. It kind of hung on there. So you puncture it with your keys is the point. My keyblade. With your keyblade. Could you do that? And then what you gotta do. <laughs> Did you know Ride and Dirty's about how Tatsuya Nomura Tatsu Tatsu fucked <laughs> Chameleon Air because he wanted to put Kinoa's <laughs> on the map? <laughs> no, I, I don't think that that's what happened. Ride and Dirty. Um, they okay. see me playing. The music video makes my more sense station. now. Fuck this game, it makes more sense natively on the Game Boy Advance. Lance Bass is Sephiroth! Yes. It's still in his Twitter uh, bio. Is it really? It, so his Twitter bio is like no in way. sync. OG voice of Sephiroth. Andrew, pull that up if you can. Yeah. You can like do it. Like, yeah, I can do it. That makes me so happy. He's so happy about it. Um. Wow. We have a fucking Patreon. If you guys really like this content, please consider subscribing to the Patreon. We have $1 tier and we have a $5 tier right now. We might expand some more. The best part about our Patreon is we're gonna have this uncut, unedited. It's gonna be pretty long, but you could watch it if you want. If you have any questions, follow us at uh, couchgoodpodcast at gmail.com. Follow us at couchgoodpodcast pretty much on all social media. <sighs> and if we miss anything, comment it in the section below. Please. And we'll talk about it in the next video. Oh, keep drinking.